God showed me what to do to make this month a prophetic one for you. God showed me what to do to make this month a prophetic one for you. He will grant you prophetic speed. Is somebody hearing me now? Yes, sir. He gave me all urgent thing that we must do on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The month is still fresh. Mm. The month is still fresh. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, yes sir. He says there is a virgin work you must do. Early, 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 early. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. To indeed push the hand of God on your behalf. That will make you enjoy prophetic speed. But before I tell you what to do this Monday, this Tuesday, and this Wednesday, I decree that those of you who fasted last Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, Friday. your answer comes speedily. Amen. Amen. As loud as your amen, may your answer come speedily. Amen. amen. May your testimony come speedily. Amen. May that seed you sowed to close your prayer germinate testimonies for you. Amen. amen. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. amen. Hear me. He told me, tell my people, carry out a prophetic speed fast this Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But before I give you this prophetic speed fast, so just you know that God is speaking on this altar. So just you don't play with prophetic events. So just you know that instructions should be taken serious. Let me share with you these two testimonies. There's a chat I had with someone, one of our followers, or two of them. Someone sent me this so that you can take prophetic matters serious. Look at this. From this my beloved son who follows me always. He said, I'm calling you. Somebody said I've been carrying out prayers for him. People have threatened his life. And I told him, don't worry. God is speaking on your behalf. May a prophet speak for you. Amen. May a genuine prophet sent by God speak for you. Amen. Amen. This is what somebody sent him. He said, Chinedu, I am calling you to give you a vital information. And you are not speaking. A woman very close to you brought a disturbing report about you to us. She said you and your prophet have been going to villages, village, destroying all her charms she buried in her compound. And that the prophet's prayer has been disturbing her. That is why she paid me and my men to terminate you in a few days to come be well. You have been monitored. We know every of your move, your house. I don't know why I'm giving you this information. The person is telling him he don't know why I'm giving them this information. He reported back to me and showed me this. And said, this is, go back to the video. He said, this is what somebody sent me. Let me tell you, where your enemies are planning to undo you, hmm. one person in their midst will expose themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. May the prophet you honor speak for you in the name of Jesus. Sir. Amen. Amen. Those people fighting you, planning to kill you, may our prayers and my prayer on this altar destabilize their charms. Amen. Destabilize their powers. Amen. Destabilize everything that concerns them. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Within the week, somebody sent me a chat again. This is a very sweet testimony from Henry, one of my beloved sons. He says, after listening to your message on YouTube yesterday, that those that are owing us will pay us. The same night, I got a message from a friend that has been owing me for almost two months. Now, credit my account this morning. More grace, sir. This is my Thanksgiving offering. Let me tell you the truth. No word comes from this altar that is a joke. No. Yes, sir. Last no. Sunday, I said, those that are owing you. Am I speaking to somebody now? We are in church. Yes, sir. And this happened exactly the same day they credited his account. This is someone I know very well. When we announce a fast, he will do it. He will always commit everything about him to this altar and god has been speaking god says i should tell you this week are yes, you sir. ready to obey him this week yes sir. yes sir those online i'm ready i know that you are ready to carry out this faster those offline and those online i know that you are ready to carry out this fast this week because i see god making your life fast he says tell them to carry out this prophetic fast this week mm. instruction number one these are the instructions that follows the fast. We must learn to obey prophetic instructions so we can be delivered from satanic destructions. Anything I tell you, do it. Tell your neighbor, just do it. 
Just do it. Say, just do it. Just do it. Number one instruction. Pick 12 tiny stones from your vicinity. I didn't say carry big, big blocks. So, if I carry 12 uh, blocks, keep inside your hands. Do you know why I say tiny stones? So that even though you fold your hands, they can still stay inside your hands. Within your vicinity, pick 12 tiny stones. That 12 represents the 12 tribes of Israel. I am going somewhere. I am going somewhere. You will enjoy speed this month. Yeah. Uh, if I show you what I see, sometimes when we see spiritual things, we can't say all. Oh, yes, just sir. obey. I can't explain every spiritual thing. In your vicinity, pick 12 tiny stones. I don't do something that is not in the Bible. First Kings chapter 18, verse 31 to 32. And Elijah took 12 stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, Israel, to whom the word of the Lord had come, saying, Israel shall be your name. Then with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord. With the stone he did what? He, he built an altar in the name of the Lord. Hear me? Hold that 12 stones and keep it around you. Don't do anything with it. Just keep it around you when you are doing the Monday prayer, don't, when you are doing the Tuesday prayer, and when you are doing the Wednesday prayer. prayer. Don't pray with the stone. Don't say anything concerning the stone, but just keep it close to you. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. Don't make it look fetish. Don't make it look like a worshiping stone. You are not doing anything fetish, but just hold the stone. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm directing you to something. I want to reactivate the covenant God had with the children of Israel. Mm. That they enjoy such speed and testimony. You will enjoy it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Number two instruction. Have them around you while you do the Monday fast, the Tuesday fast, and the Wednesday fast. Number three instruction. The fasting starts 6 a.m. and close 1 p.m. Always close your fasting with fruits before you eat any fruit at all the orange guava penipo purple just buy any fruit one eat god has been using this altar to pass message to the globe it is only those who study their times and season he says the children of the world has become wiser than the children of light i pray that you'll be a child that will be wise Amen. That as people are making use of this altar of prophecy to prosper you too inside here will do the thing that god is saying Amen. Amen. I said 6 to 1 p.m. on Monday, 6 to 1 p.m. on Tuesday, 6 to 1 p.m. On, on Wednesday. Hear me. Come with this 12 stones to church on Wednesday evening. To those of you who are in Boba, Yahweh, and Portacot, those online will wonder what of them. Don't worry. Those on YouTube, on Facebook, on TikTok, you are covered. Come with the 12 stones to church on Wednesday evening for prophetic closing. It is me that will pray with those stones for you. That 12 stone, one will blind the under eye of your enemy. Amen. One will scatter that spot in your father's compound that is delaying you. Amen. One will scatter that people that are planning in your office to sack you. Amen. One will go and hit the bullet that wants to hit you and send it back to the sender. Hey. One will send those stones on an errand. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, yes sir. One will make you a chief corner stone. Amen. Oh, what I want to do are prophetically inclined. God oh. sat me down and said, Sean, sit down open your note and dictate write down this vision that they may run with it that read it now i am reading it out to you so you can run with it mm. did you follow the instructions yes, yes sir. will you do them yes sir you better do them those online are doing them and they are having testimony every day ensure number the next instruction ensure to close your fasting each day with sacrifice before the prophetic closing on wednesday let me educate you a little on sacrifice. What many don't know about sacrifice? Sacrifice is not a means to take money from you. By the grace of God, we are big. We are rich. He has made us rich. Yes, sir. By the grace of God, we are not looking for a way to extort money from people. We are looking for avenues to make people blessed. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. Because it is a natural law and I will be deceiving you, not telling you the truth. Then what would they say if I, if I tell them to bring sacrifice? If I have that pity, I am deceiving you and I'm blocking your channel. So I'll be bold enough to tell you the truth. So he carry it out. 
Hear me and hear me well. Let me teach you a little thing about sacrifice. So you know how to close your, your prayer. When it's, if it's ordinary prayer, I pray, no problem. This is a prophetic exercise, not just a prayer. When people call me on YouTube and say, pray for me, it's not prayer we are doing. Prophetic as prayer is hello, you are blessed in Jesus' name. My God heal you in Jesus' name as we pray. Amen. But Jesus said, This type goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting, prayer and some exercise. So, what we do is prophetic exercise, not just prayers. So, prophetic exercises has a demand. Yes, sir. And until you follow that demand, you can't draw. I hear you, the sir. prophetic stream. First Kings 18, verse 36 to 38. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice remember elijah picked 12 stone but he didn't pray he didn't do anything until it came at the time of offering at evening sacrifice that elijah the prophet came near and said lord god of abraham it is during sacrificial times that god sometimes answers us he needs a sacrifice from you not blood but that thing that costs you something and you know that it is money that costs you something some people it is building some people it is cars some people it is something valuable that costs you when it leaves you you know that your body shakes that something left you I sacrifice then the fire of the lord fell and consumed the point sacrifice verse 38 it is a sacrifice that activated the answer to prayer let me show you this deuteronomy chapter 16 verse 16 to 17 so that nothing will hinder your prayer on the altar not say sacrifice i will fast i will not do give sacrifice no three times a year all your maids shall appear before the lord three what times that's why i told you monday what tuesday, tuesday. I'm I'm tuesday. representing the number three i am going prophetic you must follow patterns for some answers to come i'm following patterns here at the feast of the unleavened bread at the feast of weeks at the lord the lord empty handed okay at the feast of tabernacles verse 17 and they shall not appear before the lord what empty handed they shall not appear before the lord empty handed you can't come doing prophetic exercise and say god this is me don't go to your lord empty handed proverbs 3 verse 9 says honor the lord with your wealth with the first fruit of your crops proverbs 21 verse 26 some people are always greedy for more but the godly loves to give matthew 6 21 for where the treasure is there your heart shall be if you are fasting and you are saying god do this for me that your treasure that your money put it there lay it on the altar of that prayer you are praying so your heart will be there so it brings answer quick those online how do we close your prayer exactly that same wednesday by 9 p.m your prayers will be closed with your prophetic stones that same wednesday on the altar you will receive a notification a video notification on youtube on tiktok on facebook and your prayers will also be closed on that same wednesday how many of us understood this fast for this week monday tuesday, tuesday wednesday. wednesday 6 a.m to 1, 1 p.m, PM. Close your fast with fruit after the prayer. Close your fast with sacrifice always. Pick 12 stones from your environment. Come to church with it Wednesday evening. I decree and declare this fast open tomorrow in the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Amen. And in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. As I have spoken, so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You will enjoy prophetic speed. Now what are we praying about in the fast? God grant me prophetic speed just as your hand came upon elijah and he had run ahab god grant me prophetic speed that is what you are praying on the first day second day and third day don't ask of anything just ask for prophetic speed then on the last day i will close the prayer for you having done the needful are you blessed today yes.